Hello and welcome back everyone to Clash Royale. Now in party mode we've got the draft battle. I'm seriously not sure whether it's permanent or not. I'm quite excited about the 2v2 touchdown. I'd probably make a video on that but as of now we are going to stick with draft. Again, I'm not sure whether it's permanent or not or I, I think that the 2v2 touchdown will replace the draft. So I'm, I'm okay with it, I'd be honest. Personally, I like both. And the best part about draft is it gives me such wacky decks like which I'll never play. But you know, eh, like in the early days of Clash Royale, I used to play with these kinds of decks. Like, you know, oh, I got a prince and a witch and a wizard. I'm going to just mix it all in and with, you know, unlock the new legendary like graveyard. So we are going to play with that. So kind of, you know, nostalgic decks. I'm not even sure if it's nostalgic or not. Guards were amazing. Guards used to be my favorite cards, man. Because the best part about them is their shield, like so damn good. And the good thing about this, like, I picked all of this because I definitely will not be picking Elixir Golem because that gives me an advantage of surplus of Elixir just for defending. So, obviously, you'll never want to pick the Elixir Golem. Like, it used to be good, it just isn't anymore, so. I could be mistaken, though. I'm not sure whether poison kills the wizard. Okay, so it does. I'm gonna play the prince. The prince will just joust and kill that mini picker. I have the graveyard. I'm gonna keep it as a surprise. So perfect so far. I'm gonna be using this, these cards on the musketeer. You know what, golem. I messed up, messed up big time. I'm gonna use the guards now. Like, what's the worst you can do to guards? Absolutely nothing. Okay, so now we've got the damage advantage. Which is obviously amazing. Now, I don't have anything for the mini P.E.K.K.A. I'm again gonna try to stop him with the Prince. Obviously, the Prince will stop the mini P.E.K.K.A. The question is, will I take a hit? Okay, one hit. I'm okay with it. I'm just gonna reveal the graveyard because we're running out of time. So, obviously, I get the tower because graveyard. Okay, so this time the Elixir Golem doesn't do anything. I'm gonna go with this. Amazing fireball on his part. And that mini P.E.K.K.A was amazing. I'm not sure whether it was intentional or not, but amazing. I didn't even know that he had Lava Hound. At this point, see the Lava Hound will die. To the wizard I am not sure whether they can take okay they could have taken down the tower but yep they weren't able to I don't think that party gets much love like most people most of my friends don't play party mode that much I think it's quite underrated cause there are some good games it's actually better than those challenges or those tournaments which are in the last bar of the game, you know, where you make tournaments. Like right now, there's this Brit Spam one currently on, so I don't enjoy it that much. But personally, Draft Battle and Touchdown. Touchdown is my favorite game mode in the game. No doubts about it. Okay, so absolutely pathetic. I'm gonna take the L on the left hand side. It's 
it's absolutely brutal what he did <laughs> and well played to him like props to them whoever they are i'm going to go with this royal recruits are pretty good for taking down anything like they are amazing for defending i think the bats were uh, like my ice wizard was a bit of an overkill but anything to stop him right now or stop them okay so i can deal with this uh the bandit's going to be a little bit of an issue but we can deal with her as well okay now there are two ways of seeing this right now the first thing is that we have the royal giant so if we basically take down the first star the second star is obviously going down like there's no two ways about it okay so we got the first star down now only we can defend we'd be sitting pretty the balloon will come down I'm just waiting for it he knows they know who were there that's why they played the expo i'm going to slow it down as much as i possibly can I'm just waiting for the expo to die cuz yes the rocket the rocket will kill me Okay, so it's getting a little bit out of hand. Okay, so this is going to be like my final push, at least attempt for the final push. Yep, very well played on his part. He predicted the crossbow, or he predicted the royal giant with the crossbow. Props to him. The rocket will come down. GG. Yep. Very well played. So, well played. I think I have time for like one more match, so we are going to do that. So, now at this point, I probably go with the giant cuz if I get area splash, the royal recruits are pretty much dead. I got everything but area splash so this that I probably should have taken the archers You know I'm not sure but I think that royal ghost deserves a buff at this point cause in my eyes he is pretty weak Like sure he is good for pressurizing and stuff but other than that I see him as a pretty weak legendary like for a card which has a legendary status he doesn't seem to be that threatening Now the rascals can take care of that and the left hand side the royal ghost will do fine I think I need to kill the princess Okay so the left side probably will go unnoticed okay it didn't go unnoticed thing is we've got like equal damage both sides so i can just pick any side i want hopefully the minion who gets distracted by the cannon card or so i thought but that wasn't the case that's going to be a lot of damage Where's the flex seal on this one? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the L on the right hand side. I don't have like a fireball or anything, so I am not going to be able to like do a direct damage attack anywhere down the line. So I have to kind of shift focus on that left hand side lane. Though I think I can take care of it. 
Yep. I think the ice wizard is like how much? I'm really not sure. Did you know like if you hold down a card you can see the details like so? If you didn't, well, there you go. Okay, now that's a little bit of a threatening combo. Okay, that's a lot threatening combo. I'm mostly worried about the witch, I'd be honest. Like why am I even defending this side? This side was already dead. The good thing that came out of it was the elixir for me. Yup, the elixir golem is pretty worthless. I mean, it's free elixir for me, so why am I complaining but... Okay. Okay, so that was star down and at this point there's nothing that they can do. So that's GG. So this was draft battle in Clash Royale. If you guys did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe. Really helps me a lot. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.